facing worry-based insomnia, sleep better without anxiety and stress. In this video, we will be talking about the challenges of falling asleep when experiencing worry, stress, and anxiety. We will also give you some helpful techniques on how to train your brain to stop worrying at night. Have you ever experienced the problem where your brain just won't stop racing? You may be exhausted from a long day and finally getting to bed after completing your to-do list. However, you end up lying in bed, awake, and your mind begins to bring up all sorts of worries, such as, what does my boss think of me? Or, did I forget to pay my credit card bill? You start to plan everything you need to do the following day. And then, you find yourself wide awake and extremely frustrated. Today, we will be teaching you an important and powerful skill to help you fall asleep, even when you're feeling worried or anxious. It's essential to note that this isn't a quick fix, but it can assist with your insomnia caused by worrying. If you haven't already, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content on dreams, nightmares, and all things sleep. Typically, our bedtime routine is associated with feeling sleepy, similar to how watching an advertisement for a juicy steak can make our mouth water. This is called a paired association, and what we do before going to bed can activate our brain's sleep response. However, people with insomnia often develop a habit of thinking about their day when they lay down, and this can associate their bed with worry instead of sleep. The good news is that our brain can rewire itself by pairing the correct associations. Rather than trying to stop worrying completely, we need to train our brain to worry elsewhere. Worry is useful in helping us take action and prevent problems, but unproductive worry at the wrong time can cause anxiety and a ton of stress. To stop worrying when trying to sleep, we need to process our emotions, worries, and thoughts when we're awake. We need to face those issues during the day and give our brain time to work through them. If we keep ourselves busy or distracted all day, our brain won't have a chance to process through our worries until we try to go to sleep. Therefore, if you want to stop worrying when you lay down at night, you need to slow down during the day, spend time away from devices, and let your brain process through those worries. In order to stop worry-based insomnia, follow these simple steps. Step 1. Plan a time each day to sit down and write down each of your worries. When you're doing deliberate worry, you need to write down these worries. This is really important. There's something about writing things down that makes worries a lot more manageable. This will only take about 5 to 15 minutes, but if you've been avoiding a lot of things for a long time, then it might take longer at first. And eventually, with practice, this is just going to take a few minutes each day. Don't do this right before bed, but after lunch or after dinner are typically great times to do this. Step 2. Sort through your worries. After you've written down your list, you want to go through your list and highlight which worries are actionable. Separate the worries that you can act on from worries that are hypothetical or imagined danger. Step 3. Create a plan for actionable worries. Write down the next smallest worry and take action on what needs to be done for tomorrow. You don't need to solve all your problems, you just need to choose the next smallest actionable step and make a reminder for yourself to do it the following day. Step 4. Acceptance. Some problems can't be solved right away, and they need to be accepted. You need to set those aside wholeheartedly. You could even say this out loud, I can't do everything at once. Or say, I can't control everything. This is really all about understanding what is and what isn't in your realm of control. Worry comes up when we haven't resolved what to do, and our brain keeps prompting us to face it and to make some decision about it. Worry basically says over and over again, do I need to do something? So deliberate worry answers the question with a yes or a no. Step 5. Shifting your focus. When you've taken the time to face your worries on purpose, it's time to be intentional about what your brain's going to pay attention to. I recommend shifting your perspective to gratitude. Spend a little time remembering the things that are going well. Remind yourself of your successes. All of these may or may not be helpful in the short term, but in the long run, facing your worries with deliberate practice and setting a bedtime routine with good sleep hygiene can help you retrain your brain to fall asleep at night instead of worrying. Do you worry when you're trying to sleep? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and click on that notification bell for more amazing content like this. Share this with a friend if they may need a wake-up call. Thanks for watching, and until next time, sleep well.